In a bar in the United States, a hitman named Jack was waiting for someone here, while waiting for his target. He sees a little girl here, who looking at him lovingly. Seeing this, Jack starts playing with that girl. This little girl's name is Yoon. On the other hand, we see a Russian mobster, who arriving at the bar to trade some financial data with a man named Jiang, who is Yoon's father. The deal was going on, when suddenly Jack comes here, he starts killing everyone here one by one. After finishing them all, Jack heard someone coming from behind the door, and without any hesitation, Jack immediately shot the door, but after opening the door, Jack finds Yoon standing outside. Yoon was hit by a bullet, because of which she dies here. Jack shot him by mistake, thinking of whom he feels very guilty. The next day, Jack was drunk, because he felt very bad. Here his friend Chaos, comes to meet him with two of his companions. They try to wake him up here. After some time, they come to a Chinese restaurant, where their boss waiting for them. He is Deben, who is their leader. Deben ordered Jack to leave for South Korea to fix the mess he did at the bar the day before. He killed Jiang, the one that had stolen their data, and the only one that knew where the data was stored. Deben ordered Jack to look for the data, because they knew, that Jiang had sent an email containing data information to one of his colleagues back in South Korea. They suspected that one of Jiang's three colleagues had received the email, they were Sang, Song Jung, and Kim. Jiang's ex-wife, the one that they most suspected, Chaos said that someone was going to help his mission, whose name is John Lee, a boss at Ventura Holdings, the company where Kim worked. After hearing all this, Jack refuses to do this work, because he wanted to retire, and it regrets that it unnecessarily killed an innocent girl, but he was forced to do it, because he was the one who caused the problem. After that, Chaos warned Jack to do this job well, so he can retire later without trouble. In South Korea, at Ventura Holdings, Kim was seen leading a presentation to the company officials, including John Lee. After the meeting, John expressed his condolences after what happened to her ex-husband and daughter. He told her to call him whenever she needed something. Here we come to know, that all this John was saying just for show. Actually, John had installed many CCTV cameras in Kim's office, so that he could always monitor her, and seek information about the whereabouts of the data. After this, we see Jack, who just arrived at the airport. Here a man named Bayan came to pick him up, and he is John's right hand. For his mission, Jack was facilitated with a place to stay, weapons, and everything needed to carry out the mission. After finishing all the work in the office, Kim leaves straight for the hospital. She comes here to take care of her mother, who was very sick. She was followed by Jack. The next day, Kim goes to the police station and asks, when she can collect her daughter's and her ex-husband's belongings. The police said that in a few days, their belongings could be brought home. After they finished the autopsy, the police also said, that the death of her ex-husband was not due to coincidence, because Jiang was known to have a lot of debt after his gambling addiction. There were things that Jiang and his two colleagues did, so that he became a target for murder. Meanwhile, Jack infiltrated Kim's house to find information on the whereabouts of the data, but he ain't got no evidence here. At night, in the hospital, when Kim goes to the washroom, then Jack's come here, he tapped into her cell phone. On the other hand, Bayan and his underlings began to move by taking Sang hostage, and interrogating him about where the data was stored. But Sang, who did not know where the data was stored, couldn't answer the questions that led to his death after being injected with poison. Meanwhile, Jack was seen listening to the recording of Kim's conversation, after successfully wiretapping her cell phone. The next day, finally, Kim was allowed to take Yoon's belongings that had been used for autopsy purposes, one of which was Yoon's cell phone. After that, Kim returned to the office to finish some of her work, but she then looked at Yoon's phone, and realized something strange. When she stares at him, she finds a flash drive in him. She then opened it, and found the financial data and several photos of Yoon inside. She didn't suspect anything wrong with it, and decided to finish her work. After finishing all the work in the office, she went to her home. However, because the data was accessed, John's server caught the signal of the flash drive in the office, and without delay, he immediately went back to the office to check the CCTV, in which he clearly sees that data, in the hands of Kim. After that, it was seen that Bayan had killed Song Jung, because he receiving information from John, that the data was in Kim's hands. He then contacted Jack, who came to Kim's house to kill him, and take the flash drive, but as he moves in to kill Kim, he sees her crying. Actually, Kim was crying here watching the video of her daughter Yoon. Because she was missing her, Jack was also watching all these things, but when he moves ahead, he sees Kim here unconscious. She tries to kill herself by consuming some medicines. Jack saw Yoon's photos on the cell phone, because of which he remembers his past. Here we know, that Jack's mother lived in South Korea, and she brought Jack with her to America, so he could meet her father, but Jack's father didn't want to meet them, because of which, his mother became depressed and intended to leave Jack at a gas station. Fortunately, when his mother is not paying
paying attention to him. Then Jack sneaked in and hide in the trunk of the car. But after driving for a while, his mother suddenly stopped the car in the middle of nowhere, and decided to kill herself. After looking at the cell phone, Jack shots Kim and left the house. The next day, Kim was seen in the hospital and receiving treatment. Here we find out that Jack shot the couch yesterday, not Kim. Since then, the police had been involved in the case. Meanwhile, when John learns that Jack has betrayed him, he takes all his anger out on Bayan. They are afraid, that now the police will come to know about the black business. In America, Deben ordered Chaos, to go to South Korea to finish off Jack, who had dared to betray him. He also advised Chaos to forget Jack's kindness, who had saved him during a mission in Cambodia. At the hospital, Kim was met by the police, who informed her of the results of the investigation that lead to John. The police revealed that his real identity is a drug dealer, a money laundering syndicate, and an illegal weapons smuggler funded by Deben. They were investing in a fictive company, but Jong, her ex-husband, found out about that information and dared to steal the data. Along with his colleagues, Sang and Song Jung aimed to sell the data to the Russian mafia, so that Jong could pay off his debt by the money. From the results of the police investigation, it is known that Jong had sent an email containing the serial number of a cell phone to Kim. After hearing that, she chose to stay silent and just leave, because she thought all these things were nonsense. After this, we see Chaos and his comrades, who have come to South Korea, after coming here, they first come to a port, here waiting for their weapons which were smuggled by sea, as soon as their weapons had arrived, they killed the two couriers carrying the weapons. The next day, Kim was contacted by Jack, who said that there would be people, who would try to snatch Yoon's cell phone and kill her. Jack told her to leave the hospital immediately, because the police would not be able to protect her. After getting information, Kim saw the serial number on Yoon's cell phone, which was in accordance with what the police said. Finally, Kim realized that the data the police were referring to were inside the flash drive, on Yoon's cell phone strap. Suddenly, the electricity in the hospital went out, and a nurse entered the room, but when a policeman came into the ward to check, the nurse killed him, and when that person was about to kill Kim, Jack was already there to save her. When Jack was trying to chase the man, a policeman stopped him, and pointed his gun at him. Jack cleverly takes the police gun, and walks away, after coming out of the hospital. That man is not visible to him, because he has run away from here. Meanwhile, the police quickly come to Kim and take her to a safe place. On the other hand, the man who wanted to kill Kim earlier showed up again with a new disguise. He plans to kill Kim as well as the police. But suddenly, but then Jack sees him from inside the elevator, and shoots him. Next, John and Bayan were discussing the plan to kill Jack and Kim, but they don't know, that someone is listening to them. After this, Kim was taken to an apartment to meet a hacker from the police, to break into John's protection system, so they could open the data. Meanwhile, John, who already knew the location of Kim, he contacted his men in chaos to go to the location. Outside the apartment, Jack sees that John's men are here to kill Kim. So he immediately attacked to finish them off one by one. Jack also contacted Kim to inform her, that one of the police there had betrayed them. As soon as they managed to break into the security system, the corrupt police attacked the police chief there. He then went to bring the data to meet Bayan, who was waiting for him. He thinks that, Bayan will pay him a lot of money in exchange for the data. But after taking the data, Byun kills him. On the other hand, John's underlings had managed to get into the building. But Jack was already there to stop them. He kills all of John's men here one by one. Suddenly, the room starts being bombed from outside. Here, a man appeared and tried to kill Jack, but Jack managed to finish him off. On the other side of the building, Chaos, who sees Jack and starts firing at him. Here Jack called Kim to ask him to get out of the building. While he tried to distract the shooter's attention, he says there is a car outside the building, through which we can escape from here. When Jack was outside, then Kim starts running towards him, but suddenly, one of Chaos's men catch her. At the same time, Chaos tried to kill Jack, but he managed to escape by escaping using a dump truck. Now that Chaos has captured Kim, so he calls Jack and says, that if you want to save Kim, you will have to come to us. In the evening, after cleaning his wounds, Jack calls the police and tells them, that there is going to be a bomb blast in the Ventura building, for proof he blows up his own apartment. Meanwhile, Kim was being held captive in John's room, the goons got panicked, when they saw the police coming here, who thought that they were coming for them, but when they saw, that the police were going to the adjacent building, they calmed down. As soon as they come here, the police first shuts down all the satellites and wireless networks coming within a radius of 2 kilometers, because Jack had previously contacted the police threatening to blow up the building again. Chaos finally realized that the reason Jack did that was, so that nobody would be able to monitor him from the CCTV. Meanwhile, Kim, who was left in John's room alone, here he found John's secret place, which was used to monitor her. After seeing all this, Kim somehow gets out of the room. On the other side, Jack started to move to fight Chaos and the others. Chaos's man tried to stop Jack, but he was killed during the gunfight. 
In the other room, John and Byan were seen moving all the data, so they could launder the money, but Kim was in her office, and saw that data that was being accessed and collected, she directly accessed the main server and deleted all the financial data, that was being accessed by John. John lost all his money due to data deletion, which was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. After seeing all this, Byan got very angry and killed John, because he knew, that John wouldn't be able to pay the payment he promised. After this, Jack finally sees chaos and a fight ensues between the two. Finally, Jack managed to finish chaos. On the other hand, due to no bomb being found in the building, the police restarted the network, Jack quickly calls Kim as soon as the network is here. But Byan found her and catch her, he tried to rape her, he stripped her clothes and accidentally dropped his knife, when Byan's attention is not on him. Then Kim grabbed the knife and stabbed him right in the neck, finally, Byan also gets killed here. Here we come to know, Chaos did not die yet, he called Jack and said, that he would end everything and that he would pay his moral duty by saving him. He asks her to have a drink with him. Jack who saw Kim from the CCTV, he called Kim and said take a gun, because someone was going to approach her to kill her. Jack also said that when the elevator door opened, Jack told him that as soon as someone comes out of the elevator, you shoot him, because that person was Yun's killer, who lived his life killing people. Here we come to know, that the person he was referring to was himself, and he did all that, because he wanted to make amends for killing Yoon. Chaos finally showed up and saw Jack being shot by Kim. He was about to shoot her, but Jack stopped him. Chaos pressed the button to shut the elevator door, and left from there while Jack. Finally, Jack is relieved to be shot, because it was killed by the woman, whose daughter it killed by mistake.